It's the last weekend in April, and you know what that means. It's taper time. Okay, so last weekend, next month is May, so on May the 5th is the Crete Marathon and I had it entered, for better or worse. Uh, so this will be my first race on Crete. Uh, so really looking forward to it. And so it starts out way over there in the distance, runs along the foreshore, goes up into the hills about, runs along the foreshore. Uh, all the way back to Hanya and finishes in the sports stadium. So uh, it should be a really nice run. I've run parts of it, uh, so from Malame back to Hanya. Uh, so I know what that bit's like. Um, but the bit going up into the hills, uh, I've not done that. So uh, that will be quite interesting. Uh, so the goal this time is with. Uh, previous attempts is to go under four hours um, and I'm not entirely sure I can do that um, but on paper I should be able to so I've been focusing on just getting out getting my circuits in getting the occasional long run in 30 40 k something like that um, but not doing a lot of big distance stuff and not pounding myself silly so the body's not terribly fatigued it's all feeling pretty good no injuries or niggles really that should bother us on the day um, so yeah just really kind of looking forward to getting out there and getting into it and uh, seeing what that part of the, the island looks like um, particularly getting up into the hills a bit because it's quite lovely up there we've been driving up there a bit uh, and it's just quite lovely so Really looking forward to getting up there and just seeing what's there. Uh, it seems quite pretty. It's, it's a reasonably cheap race to enter. It's like 25 euros or something. And you get a free t-shirt and a free bus ride out to the start. Um, so that's pretty cool because it's about an hour drive on the bus to get out there. Uh, unfortunately the bus stop is about five minutes walk from my house. So that's also quite easy. Um, so it's shaping up to be an interesting day. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting out and, and getting into having a race because it's been a while. Uh, my last race was the Wu 2K last year, uh, just before we came to Crete. So um, yeah, it'd be kind of good to just get out there and throw yeah. down and see what I can do. Um, so as usual the second half of the race is going to be hard after about 30 k's but also not just for the distance but it's going to be quite hot by that stage so we're on the borders of summer now um, so it's quite warm quite lovely here uh, the tourists have started to come back again so things are starting to fill up um, so I'm thinking from about Oh, about 9 or 10 o'clock onwards. It's going to be up around 20 degrees. Uh, so it's going to be quite warm. Uh, but that should be okay. So this will be... Um, well, the first road marathon that I've done. That's not in the middle of winter. So normally there's a the Wellington Marathon. And that's in, in June, July. And usually a howling suddenly, freezing rain. And it's just a 
a misery fest for most of it. Um, whereas this, it should be lovely weather the whole time. Quite looking forward to that. Well, really, so it was just a short update to let you know what's coming up. Um, so naturally, I'll be hopefully videoing the race. And I can show you what the course looks like. Um, and find out just how they do things here on Crete. I'm sure there will be food involved somewhere. All right. So until I see you next time, have fun. And we'll catch you after the race.